Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> that was loud, wasn't it? That's echoing in here. I'm just chilling. Well, God bless you. God keep you. I came out with a praise report. Ooh. God is good. God is great. I pray that there's those flowers are dancing and on the, in front of this video. I pray that all of those blessings come to you. Good. God's grace and his mercy be with you forever and ever. Okay, with that being said, okay, the so-called mechanic that I had was telling me that I needed all of these bushes and everything like that for my car. We talk about $200. Yeah, because he's greedy and he tried to overcharge me for my car. Come to find out, right? Because, you know, I took it up on myself. I started thinking, I'm like, he's telling me this and he hasn't even taken the parts off the car. So let me take this day since I'm off. Let me go out here and check it out for myself. So I go to one place. As I get there, thank you, God, too. Two people I knew were right there. And so it was a guy I know. And he was like, nah. He said, that sounds like uh, your brakes. That's not the, what you said. He said, but they got, nobody can tell you that. They have to take it out. Yeah. You know I'm getting ready to take them numbers. Those two fake mechanics I'm taking out of my little thing. Out of my phone. You know, when people do me wrong and stuff like that, I'm like, pow, I'm, I'm down, keep it moving. Because there, you already did it more than once. You overcharged me before, and I still try to be humble and nice and kept talking to you. But then you turn around, here it is, you done told me a bold-faced lie to get money out of me. So now we done. So anyway, like I said, I go and a dude told me, he said, yeah, he don't have time to do it. He said, because he had to take his dog. You know, he had German Shepherd, two beautiful German Shepherds. Well, he had one with him, and she's pregnant. It's rare to feel a full-blooded German Shepherd. <laughs> hey, I love animals, so I was like, wow. So he had to take it to the vet. So anyway, uh, so anyway, I ride around, and I'm looking for my little crew, you know, my bootleg mechanics. I don't have it like that. So anyway, I come up on this dude that was going to fix my car before, named Mike. So I go to him. Him and his son, they took and put the brakes, uh, well, they said I needed brakes. So they took, the t they took the tire off, then they said I needed brakes. So while he took the tires off, I went to take the piece back that was $30 that dude said I needed. So I go back in the store to take it back and price my brakes. Oh, my God, they was expensive. But they didn't have my brakes. So this is how good God is. I want to tell you how awesome he is, how he shows up and he shows that. Why is it the guy Mike? He don't know me. You know, he seen me around a couple of times. I brought asking for repairs for my car. But other than that, he doesn't know me. Why didn't he take and let me use his car? He let me use his vehicle, gave me the keys and everything. Yes, for real. He gave me the keys and he let me use his car to go to another store to see if they had the part. Then I get to the other store with it and they didn't have it. So when I get back to him, he's already taking the brakes off the car. Oh my goodness. So I can't use my car to drive. I don't have all the money on me. I thought my brakes was going to be like $16, $17, but they wasn't. So, anyways, this is God showing up and showing that. I'm telling you, you better trust him. You better get to know him because I'm telling you, he is awesome. He is so awesome. So okay, I got to tell myself that Jesus is awesome. So, I get back, and like I said, they didn't have the part. So, they only had a part at another location. So, he said, well, why didn't you go on a driver? So, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm not running off with your car if you come looking for me, not. So, he said, well, here, call this place and see if they have them. Okay, so they called the place, they had them. He let me use his car again by myself. Woo, thank God. Woo, Lord Jesus. You know, it jumped in my head like, hey. And then you, I see somebody I know, <laughs> you know, you want to be like, ah, oh, let me give them a ride. And then I'm like, nah, it's not my car. I'm not going to disrespect somebody that's trying to be kind to me, which this is a miracle and a blessing. So now I'm not going to mess it up. So I kept on going past a friend I seen. So I get there, I got to wait for the parcel. He played it off. He called me to check on me. I said, yeah, I'm the person that got your car, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said, oh, okay, you know, yeah. I said, well, I'm waiting in line and you know what I'm saying? They're trying to find the parcel. And he said, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Cause I was like, hey, I know he ain't that trusted. <laughs> so he's already let me know that he got a tracker on his car and a tracker on his phone where he could track his car and all that to let me know, you know, don't run off with his car. So anyway, I get the part, I take it back. 
And they put him and his son, he has an older son, he's teaching his son his way. His son will always make money to never have to worry about eating as long as you know how to work on a car. That's a blessing. He taught him a hell of a hustle. Oh my God, did I say a bad word? <laughs> Woo! Hello. Anyway, but uh, oh Lord, yeah, that's a real hustle. Yeah, that's a real serious hustle. So anyway, he put the brakes on and everything. And I paid him some of the money and I said, well, when I come back, I'll give you the other for it. Went, got the money, brought it back. You know, he thanked me. And I'm like, that's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That's that's real. That's awesome. But I just wanted to give a praise report about that. And that's what I want to say about that. Just that God is good and trust him. Just trust him. Trust him with everything that you have, you know. Don't trust man. God tells us not to trust man. Don't trust man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said with dude now. What his motives was, you know, I know some of them. I know some of dude's motives. You know, mainly to jack some money out of me and then thank somebody trying to talk to him. Let's keep it real on the table. But hello, not, not, you know, now, nah, uh-uh. So, like I said, those numbers will come out and, you know, the old me wanted to call you. You know how it is. You know the hustle in you. I wanted to call him on the phone and say, dude, why you tell me woo 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 woo? But then it was like, okay, Dennis, you know, we don't need to throw things up in people's face. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do it. But if he calls my number, I will tell him. You know, I'm not going to tell him what I really want to tell him. But I'm going to let him know that that was, that was bogus. That was really, you know, that was really uncalled for. To tell me that I needed something, knowing that I'm struggling. I don't have the money. Knowing I needed transportation to go back and forth to work. Which he had said this to me. And that was one of the reasons I didn't go to work. Because he said you can't drive on the car. Like I said the devil works. Whoo. You got to watch the devil. Because he gets in people and he uses his little vessels. And, and you get to the point you know it looks like it's good. But it's evil. That was straight up evil right there. You know, but thank God and give God the glory. Hopefully I can make up that day. But like I said, his intent, your intent, you didn't even take that off. And then what makes it so bad after that I repurchase it, well, you're going to tell me that I need another for it, which we're going into hundreds. And then you want to always bust my head with an extra price when you're doing the labor. Come on, and you don't even have a shop, dude. Like I said, mm-mm, pitiful. You know what I'm saying? Mama said, you're dirty and you got to die. Mama always said, when you do dirty stuff, I ain't saying necessarily die, but I think mom probably meant that, you know. But I'm like, that's wrong. Take and use people. And it's, you know, nothing good comes to you. I believe that what goes around comes around. That's always been my motto, you know. But it's wrong when you take and use people like that. Don't get me wrong. I've, I've used people and did things to people, but at the same time, I said, God, forgive me, you know, and I don't do that no more. I've been there, and I didn't use too many people that didn't want to be used. You know, let's get that straight, too. I'm not excusing my wrongdoing, but hey, sometimes it was a two-way street. You know, you can't use somebody. Me and my kid's daddy used to talk about that. We had a, a heck of a conversation. I almost said that word again, yeah. But we had a heck of a conversation one time. You know, he said, yeah, you know, he said, yeah, I'm just keeping it real with you. But yeah. I mean, you know, my kid's daddy was, he called himself a ladies' man. And uh, he was like, Joe said, yeah. He said, you know, I'm messing with this chick and that chick. He said, and I, I'm thinking that uh, I'm, 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 uh, they, I'm using them. I'm thinking I'm using them because I'm getting money from them and cars and all this. He said, but you know what? He said, I thought about it. He said, in reality, he said, they using me because I'm doing what they want me to do. <laughs> I was like, wow. I was like, yeah, because we, we got like it. We, we ended up getting that way where we was cool. It's a, you know, a lot of people are like that, but that's how we got where we was cool. We would tell each other everything. But, yeah, we had a real, real talk like that. You know, that's how we was. We get high and we start, <laughs> we start getting brainiac. We turn brainiac. We start thinking. <laughs> like, we don't smoke some weed or something, but we would start thinking, you know. And I, I, that was powerful. Cause, and the point I'm making is using is a two-way street. You think you playing somebody, like I said, he think he playing me. You know, you already got me. Now, he got over true. He got over that 200. He hit me for 200 for repairing something on my car. that shouldn't have been no more than about 100 because you came to me to fix my car. So I give you that. But 200, nah. But I, it was cool because you fixed it. You came back. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, nah. Uh-uh. 
But you know, you you reap what you sow. You know, when you do somebody wrong that that was trained, that it was in need, and you trying to call yourself, you definitely well, you took advantage of. It. You don't prosper because somebody's gonna take advantage of you, or somebody's gonna take advantage of your kids, and then you're gonna be sitting back looking still. So, like I said, well, every dog has his day. So it is what it is. But like I said, trust God. Trust God. If you don't know him, get to know him. You know, get to know him for real. Get to know him. You know, because I was so happy because it was funny. I, I'm driving and I'm like, oh, Lord, you know, I don't want to get on the bus. Like I said, I ain't, I ain't hating on no bus. They, they one of the greatest blessings in the world. But I was like, I don't want to try to ride that bus that long distance. And I'm like, Lord, you know what I'm saying? I don't like having that worry, you know, of missing and then you stuck. I don't like being stuck nowhere. That I can't just say, okay, what I love about catching the bus downtown, now, if you live in town, you live in a, a certain zip code areas, you know, a bus don't come, you can start walking. You start walking, you're going to end up running into the bus, or you're going to run into somebody that'll give you a ride, or you can run somewhere and take care of some business or something, but you straight. But here, now, nah, where I live now, nah, you be walking, and yeah, you be walking, <laughs> it'd be a serious walk. But where I'm at now, where I work at now, it's not even it's not even conceivable for real, for real. So now, nah. but I thank God right now. You know, it's not all the way where it needs to be, but I thank God it's where it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I went out and I treated myself. Hello, I'm gonna tell on myself. Yeah, I was so happy. I said, Oh, let me treat myself. You know, but I still got my tithes and my offerings in my mind. You know, I've been doing my tithes and offerings, but I don't get it twisted like that. Giving and she'll be given unto you. Press down, shaking together, and running over. Malachi, hello. But uh, uh, like I said, though, you know, it's a beautiful thing. But before I went, I was like, oh, Lord Jesus, you know, God. I said, I, I, I don't even deserve it. I said, but your grace and mercy, please show it, Lord. I said, whatever's wrong with this guy, please let it be simple under $20 or whatever to fix, Lord. Please don't let it be what he said, please. And I ain't lying. I got there and do say that. Like I said, I see two people. And uh, when you study the Bible, I don't study like that, but I heard people say blessings come in two. And so anytime something's repeated, then it's going to be. And here was two people that I knew, and that guy told me straight out. He said it, and then the other guy that works at the company said it. He said, your break pads look low. But dude going to tell me something totally different. Like I said, pitiful. Pitiful. Just to get money out of you. Just greedy. Just nasty. I ain't lying. People like that make me sick. Mm -mm -mm. I used to make myself sick, but hello, thank God for change. Oh, Lord, but God is so good. I ain't lying. Like I said, I just had to smile. I told you they could tell I was happy. I, I was really happy. I was really, I, I am happy. I am happy. I'm blessed and highly favored because there's so many things I want to do, and it's nice that God didn't even let him prevail, and evil didn't prevail. Because if I would have sat still, and that's like I was telling my other friend. I was talking to this dude, man, he's real cool. You know what I'm saying? He's real cool. I was talking to him, and I was, tell, I was telling him about that. Is that when you're, uh, oh, Lord, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, when people, when you want people to do things for you, and they want to take advantage of you, that's wrong. That comes back on them. And uh, uh, like I said, uh, you know, to, to God be the glory. I'm just so thankful that God came. God opened the door, and 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 God let him. God will prevail, and not the devil's will. I'm so glad for that. But like I said, people amaze me how they want to take it and, and uh, just do wrong. Just use people up. You know. Uh, my total thought just can't left me. I'm that tired. I feel rested. But like I said, I, I'm happy. I'm happy. That was the point I'm making too. I'm happy. I'm really happy. I'm glad that God got the glory. That's what I want to say. I'm so glad that God got the glory. And I give him praise. Because what I did too for the first time I had, I prayed him in advance. And while I'm on a subject, I know what I want to say too. I went to church Sunday. Oh, praise God. I was at Bates. Ah, uh, and this lady, uh, Reverend, uh, Reverend Self, I think it's S-E-L-F, -L. Reverend Self preached because the pastor wasn't there, pastor wasn't, wasn't there, and I ain't lying, I mean, she was awesome, I mean, she brought it home, she talked about courage, 
what you scared of. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. I mean, she preached. She preached. She talked about a lady named Jaleel that was a sports uh, newscaster and things like that. And how she made a comment about the president. And then because of that, like she lost her job. And then uh, a whole lot of little stuff like that. You got to look it up for yourself. But yeah, I mean, it was powerful. I mean, then she talked about courage when everybody's against you and you still standing. You know, she was talking about Joshua. Joshua, how Joshua was, was doing. You know what I'm saying? And what his name means and stuff like that. I mean, and how he took Moses' place. You know, and how he was thinking like, okay, you know, wait a minute. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm taking Mo I'm jumping in Moses' feet. He done healed people and parted the sin. Now you calling me, Lord, to take his place? So I was like, oh, yeah. So, yeah, she talked about courage. It's very powerful, pastor. Powerful. I had to go up to her and thank her. I did. I thanked her. Just beautiful. I mean, ooh, it was, it was on time. I even bought the CD. I mean, powerful, because I've been playing it all night, you know, but I want to keep that, because, I mean, it, it's a powerful message for anybody, because we don't understand how sometimes you get stifled. You don't want to move, and then you're not moving because it's fear. But you don't want to put that name of fear on it, but you know, I don't want to move because I'm being cautious. I'm being careful. You know, I'll, I'm scared. And so, yeah. It was very powerful. Very powerful. You know, it touched me. It gave me all kind of ideas and thoughts and things that I need to improve on and what I need to do because I see some things that I haven't been doing because I have, I've been in fear. You know, but... Uh, like I said, uh, again, give God the glory. And if you don't get, if you don't know God, like I said, through my testimony, I through others' testimony, please get to know Him. And that's why God says, you know, uh, tell people about your, uh, uh, give people a testimony, give a testimony, because when you tell somebody, they help another person and bring people to God when they hear about what you went through. And also, this is how awesome God is too. When I got home, I was thinking, like you know. The situation I'm going through on the job with the uh, supervisor harassing me. And uh, all of a sudden I was doing looking for something. And I lifted up the pillow to the cap. Not that the half was river were dirty. <laughs> but the cap I'm sitting on and I found a number. And it's a number of a friend of mine. So I called him. I was talking to him because I remembered that he went through it on the job. He had a supervisor or some man payroll or something. Just constantly kept picking with him. You know what I'm saying? And just and thank God I'm, uh, he ended up telling me too that he got the victory. You know, the messing with his money. I mean, for years he went through this, you know. But uh, I knew that he had went through something. And uh, he ended up, uh, I called him and we was talking, you know, and he was encouraging me and telling me what to do. You know, write down information on, write down every time the person comes to you and all this and that and where to take the case and all this type of thing. But, I mean, I appreciate it. But that's how God shows up and he shows that. He puts you with somebody that's going through what you're going through. I'm going through what you going. They've been through what you're going through. And that's how you strengthen each other. Arm strength is on. That's how you get strength. It's when you with somebody, God hooks you up with somebody that's going through what you're going through or what you've been through. And that, that's a strong testimony. You know, and he thanks me for calling him. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate him. Because like I said, you know, he was like, you know, hold on, you don't quit, don't you stop, you know, and all that. And I was like, man, that was powerful. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to do, especially our people, you know what I'm saying? We need to encourage one another, you know, speak up for one another, have each other's back, man. But uh, anyway, like I said, to God be the glory. And if you don't know him, please get to know him because you can call on him, you know, call on him day and night, whenever, you know. And God bless you and peace be with you. I'll talk to y'all later. Ta-ta.